Yeah, we're going to talk about the extreme values of a function. Um, that just means like absolute maximums, absolute minimums, local maximums, local minimums, global, relative, whatever. Those are all meaning the same thing. And we'll talk about them. Um, so let's first, first, what is an absolute maximum value on an interval? Here, if we had uh, the interval, the closed interval from, from A to B, it looks like at C, at x equals C, there's a maximum, right? And it's the maximum out of the entire in interval. So we would call that an absolute maximum. Now, we don't know what that absolute maximum value is, uh, but let's just call this um, C, not C prime, because that looks like the derivative. We'll call it f of c. Uh, so we'd say absolute maximum at x equals c, value of uh, whatever f of c is. And then absolute minimums looks like maybe, maybe both of them, but I didn't draw it too accurately. I would say, uh, let's say uh, there, there's an absolute minimum. It's the lowest point in the whole entire interval. I, I think you guys understand that absolute maximums are the highest points in some interval. Uh, it could be like negative infinity to positive infinity as well. Like if I had a parabola, parabolas would have an absolute maximum or an absolute minimum, depending on whether it opens upwards or downwards. Um, local or relative maximums or minimums, those occur in in intervals, but they may not be the uh, like the global maximum or global minimum. So let's let's talk about that. This is the way I think about uh, local or relative maximums or minimums. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here. So I would say I have uh, a local maximum or a local minimum in an open interval if I can just zoom in and have that point be uh, the, the global max or the global min. What the heck does that mean? Uh, the best thing I think uh, is to show you with a picture. So if I had something like this, and it continues on upwards and downwards, I would say I have a local uh, maximum here, but not a global maximum, just because this goes on and on and up forever. So there is no global maximum. But here I can zoom in. Well, I guess that's all I can zoom in with my iPad. But I can zoom in, and this would be the highest point. That would be the, the highest y value. And then I would have a local minimum here, because I can zoom in and, like, there and there. Okay, yes, this is the lowest point, so it's a local minimum. Uh, and then local maximum, local minimum, local maximum, local minimum. Uh, no global maximums or um, absolute maximums or minimums, just because this goes on and on downwards and on and on upwards. Uh, so let's, let's, well, I think, yeah, let's talk about the extreme value theorem and then we'll get to examples. So the extreme value theorem just says if you have, and I'm going to draw a picture for it. So it says if F is continuous on a closed interval from A to B. So continuous means no breaks, no, um, infinite discontinuities, no jumps, no holes, whatever. Uh, so I'll say from A to B and... Let's just have that. So some closed interval. Uh, then F has both a global maximum and a global minimum. And I could like I, I could do a different example. If I just had from A to B, if I just had something like this, where it's just a line segment from A to B, I still have a local max or a global maximum and a global minimum. So here. Uh, what this is saying is if you have no breaks, then there's definitely going to be a highest point and there's definitely going to be a lowest point because the interval is closed. If I had, so let's let's think about it for this case. Here, the global minimum would be somewhere down there at x equals some value close to that. Um, looks like the global maximum may be up there, uh, but there's definitely something, uh, like I definitely can find one uh, just because... I mean, it's on a closed interval and it's continuous. If I wasn't, if it wasn't continuous, meaning, if I had like an open, sorry, if it was a, a an open interval, I can get whatever this is, f of b, I can get super super close to this, but I 
never actually get there. Uh, so there actually is no maximum in this case, just because you can get closer and closer and closer uh, to f of b, but never actually get there. So there is there is no maximum value. Um, because you can all like if you pick something that's really close to B, I can pick something that's even closer uh, every single time, no matter what. So this case would not follow the uh, extreme value theorem because it doesn't have that part. If you had a discontinuity, like uh, say you had something like this that was closed and closed, here we would neither have a maximum nor a minimum just because of those two things. However, this also still follows the extreme value theorem just because we're saying that it's continuous on the closed interval and this is discontinuous on that closed interval. So uh, there you have it. That's I'm gonna move on and do some some examples maybe.